I just went into a Walmart a couple of days ago because we just started selling there. And Hershey's bars, they have like Superman on it and Wonder Woman and Green Lantern and all these like characters. And it's like, who the fuck cares? Why No one would buy a goddamn Hershey's bar because it has a superhero on it. And I think like just a lot of modern snacks, they've just been here forever. They're kind of boring. Honestly, I think Hershey's bars just taste like shit, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I think someone, they just have the shelf space and no one really competes with them. And I think it's time someone just comes in there and it's like, Shut up, you boomers. Like, make new products and innovate or just get the fuck out of here. You know what, what I mean? What have you learned about that space? Besides, like, all the stuff you know about social media, like, what have you learned about, like, stuff, like like you said, like, shelf yeah. space? Like The biggest thing is that, so every month in America, over 100 million people walk into Walmart. And, like, up until basically a month ago, we had no products in there. And so, like, now, this past month, it's been absurd. Basically, whatever I thought we were going to sell, we're doing, like, five times better. Just because people... I basically, I could go stand in any Walmart in America and I would have to take a hundred photos if I just stood there for like 30 minutes. Like a line would form and people would just be like, oh, that's the guy from YouTube. So those same people, when they go into a Walmart, will buy my products. You know what I mean? And that's just kind of, which is kind of a no brainer, but it's more extreme than I ever thought. And so before we were even promoting that we were in Walmart, it just we just put it in there. And it was only in a couple of thousands as they were ramping it up. And we were already doing six figures. It's just because people are like, oh, it's that guy from YouTube. And they buy it. And so it's kind of shifted my whole mindset. Like retail space, when you have a brand this big, it's just so OP, uh, to be honest. Like, And I'm sure you see the same thing with Happy Dad. Um, tons of people, they're going there to buy alcohol. And so if yours isn't there, they're just going to buy someone else. But because they love you and, you know, you guys got a great product and everything, they're going to buy Happy Dad. So I think Prime, Happy Dad, and Feastables, like, I, I don't see a world where they're not all multi-billion dollar companies in just a couple of years, to be honest. Yeah. 